Okay guys, this is your girl Dimash and Crab, the Queen of African Culture and today I'm live in Abuja, live with the Honorable Minister, like, <laughs> I'm on interview session with the Honorable Minister of Tourism, when you talk of Nigeria, when you talk of tourism, I am here live with that today, Ma, <laughs> for the sake of formality, no, the world know you, everyone knows you, but for the sake of formality, just introduce yourself to my camera, like, please. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Lola Adejan. I'm a mother of two young ladies, and um, that's it. I'm I lost my husband, but as I, I've been um, in the IT industry for many years, and um, I worked in various companies as well as in the banking industry in Nigeria and. Africa and globally and um, I was honored to be invited by um, the Ashiwaju um, Bola Ahmed Tinubu to join his cabinet as and um, they appointed me as Minister of Tourism. I'm, I'm very grateful for the and honored for the opportunity. Thank you. Um, Meeting you today is a privilege. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, as a honorable minister of um, tourism, you know, what has been your experience since you resumed the office? Um, it's different in the sense that I came from the private sector and I'm now in the public sector. So um, the, there are many things that are slightly different in the private sector, but all in all, I mean, rules are rules. You have to follow the rules and you have to get to understand the people that you are working with. And I really don't have a problem with that. Um, there's nothing really new in getting to understand um, new systems and all that. Um, what I find fascinating is that when you, see, you, you work at the, um, the cabinet level, you are seeing Nigeria. And that's what I find fascinating, getting to know Nigeria. I never came close to uh, as many people as I have been doing so in the past um, four or five months. I'm getting to know the country, getting to know the um, issues and the cultures and how, you know, putting in place plans to sell um the um what we have in in nigeria so that is what i've been experiencing in the past uh, four or five months yes there is general perception in your society that people said our tourism sites are fading away what's your view on it how do you think you can improve on this yes um you are right in that um from then the previous administrations, you know, um, after the, I think the Obasanjo um, administration, um, because of the insecurity in the country, um, tourism was put in the back burner. And yes, there's a bit of culture, but tourism was, you know, put in the back burner. So, but, um, our president has seen and has, you know, has been reiterating that um, tourism should be the number one industry in the country, should be the number one revenue generator, and it should be an avenue for employment, not just white collar jobs, but also at the community level. And I believe that it is achievable if we all work together. During my research and uh, series of interview, I, I visited so many places and I discovered that there are so many places that have been in bad shape, so many unique tourist centers that have been in bad shape. Like when you go to Ledger, Ledger so they have this iron meeting um, site that has been existed 2,000 years before Christ. And in Ledger and Soka, Ledger in Soka, yes, and Enugu State. And government, and there's nothing. The place has been abandoned for years. When you say two thousand years before Christ, okay. So and so many other places like that. And seeing your administration now, what do you think you would, 
could do to like revive these places them that have been dumped, that are in bad shape. And uh, you know, tourism is something that unites the people. It brings people together, home and abroad together. And you unite them through that tourism. And some of these places are linked to their history and culture of the people. And when keeping those places, you keep the tradition and culture alive. What do you think? How do you think you could use your office to improve on these places? Since it attracts revenue to, to the government. So, so um, next week, we're having a meeting with all the commissioners of tourism in uh, the, the 36 states plus Abuja. One of the things that we want to discuss was collation of all the um, tourist assets in within each state and, and local government area and the state in which those um, assets are in. When we collate all those um, um, the asset states, the, you know the status in which they are in, then we will identify, you know, in batches, especially in this, you know, I think per geopolitical zone, how we can work with the investors to revive some of those assets, especially the ones you talked about. That is two th over 2,000 years two thousand old. Years I old. find that fascinating. Just like I went to um, Ekbe and was told that the Queen of Sheba was buried in Ijebu, or was it even in Ekbe? I mean, those are the kind of things that we want to showcase to the world that will um, gather interest. And hopefully, you know, maybe one day you will be, you'll be rewarded as a UNESCO heritage site. So those are the kind of things we are targeting. And you made mention of when we when we were attending to the your guest there, you made mention of that tourism is not just about the places and all that. It has to do with stories and all that. People's way of life, feeding, how they feed, different kind of food and all that. Wow. I, 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 when I heard that, I was like, wow, it's nice because some places that I visit, you see them, they are well cooking, they are well eating, they eat different. But yes. when you bring up these things to show to the world, people see it and say, how? Oh, where is this place? Like, I would like to visit to try their food, try this. So I love that. So I really do believe that every single community, they do things differently. And, you know, over time, we want to showcase that. It's not just about coming to Lagos or Abuja, uh, you know, for a television program or, and, you know, and or even the Nollywood movies and all that. When you go to the community itself, you sit inside the community, within the community, the, maybe the oldest person will tell you the story about the community there. You stay in their homes. You know, once it's clean, you know, even if it is to drink water from the well, you know, and then maybe the lady that does the special vegetable soup, you know, cooked in a special way with the uh, things like periwinkles and all that, will sit there and eat. That for me is authentic tourism. If you don't mind, we also want to partner with you for some of the places that you will need us to like tour for you like i've been to different states i've been to igara um anambara rochuku benue state taraba state so many places we mentioned i still have more places to visit so in any way they need um us to partner because we would wish to so in any way yes to be part of the movement always available Thank you for the offer and we really appreciate it and we're happy that you want to um, join the train and help us to um, get to know some of these um, uh, sites and assets that is probably not in the documentation that we have and um, my, my aides will get your um, details so that we'll start engaging as in the course of, 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 of this um, administration.